you later. Well, hello there again, and hello. I hello, really. hello, and I'm back with another piano teacher. So, hello there. Hello. What's your name, and um, where are you based? Yes, I'm Yuki. I'm currently based in Tokyo, Japan. So we're looking at Japan here. <laughs> okay. So tell me a bit about who you teach and where you teach in Japan. Uh, so I'm currently teaching at the university in Tokyo, but previously I had been teaching in the UK and then from the three years old to up to like a 60 years old. Three to 60 years yes. old, but you're now in Japan, and yes. you're but you've got experience of both, yes. both approaches. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, okay, okay. Um, and so you teach children, young children, and you teach adults. Okay, so what is one element in your teaching that you are particularly pleased with proud of yes of course i'm not, i'm very proud of their technical development but mostly i'm very happy and proud of the students who find something really artistic yes for example okay, winning the competition past the exam it's really big things but during the lesson, if they realize something, oh, it's beautiful in the musical way, or it's really artistic and find themselves, it's really um, make me happy. That kind of moment is really precious in their musical lives. Indeed, and hoping to instill in them a yeah. love of music. Yeah. Yes, exactly, because we can cultivate the power of music inside them. And if they find this kind of like a sparkling feeling, so they can cultivate that feeling and then believe that kind of experience really makes their musical life like, happier. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. So what one element are you wanting to change or develop and work on further in your yeah. teaching? Mm -hmm. um, particularly in the Japanese context, uh, children are highly likely to have low confidence for their performance because like, they um, they feel anxious about their technical position and they are afraid of making mistakes. Mm. But of course, like, uh, musical performance requires uh, techniques. Of course, like, we have to train it. But at the same time, I really uh, want them to enjoy even they make mistakes because like, as long as we perform, we can't really avoid the mistakes. But I think the most of the Asian students, or particularly Japanese students, they pay attention to mistakes too much. Mm. Because when I was teaching in the UK, I feel like the uh, English children are more capable to enjoy uh, to perform by themselves if they make mistakes, but they try to prioritize the other things like an enjoyable performance or sharing that kind of moment. But I think that the Japanese student, uh, they're too much or worrying about their mistakes or they prioritize the technical uh, precision too much. But I think in the, apart from the professional re professional level, I think that they need to enjoy more and they can feel relaxed more. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I want to change it. So as far as in the lesson, of course, I have to tell them how they should improve technically. Um, but at the same time, I want to um, make them realize what kind of uh, things they can enjoy more in the, their performance. So mm. That's something I want to uh, a bit change of direction. Um, so how, how are you going to do that change of direction? Yeah, that's really hard <laughs> to do that. And also, it's not only in the context of the music education, maybe in the more like a wide, broad uh, educational context, the children sense like, what kind of things they are required mm -hmm. you know, to be precise, mm -hmm. to be punctual, to be correct. So that kind of educational culture is not the, of the matter of the music education only. No. So we need really change the structure of their mind, <laughs> but it's really hard to do by myself. But I try to bring the, some um, the activities during the lessons or how to uh, read the music or how to play. But in, in that kind of context, not only technically how to play, but how to understand the music and how the students can express their own feeling based on the uh, musical understanding or musical interpretation. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. something I try to do. Mm -hmm. Very uh, good. Very good. Good luck with that one. <laughs> yeah, thank um, you. So, can you explain a little bit about the system of training mm -hmm. or how uh, you enter the profession yeah. in your country? Maybe mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about your own background uh, as well. Yes. 
uh, normally in Japan, we don't have like an ABR system or Trinity exam system. So normally we have uh, we have like a Yamaha music school or mm -hmm. Kawaii music school. Mm -hmm. I think like a Suzuki method or like a Yamaha school so can be famous in one of places. But normally they start the playing, for example, in the piano, at the three years old, five years old, or something like that. Then either they enter the Yamaha music school or Kawaii music school, like a company based school, or private just directly. Um, but we don't have that the exam system nationally. But Yamaha has their own graded system, graded exam system, yeah. but not many people do that. So we have a, a practicing a lot. <laughs> then, <laughs> then at some point, so they can enter the competition, some students can enter the competition, but normally we have to take an exam to enter the university, music university or conservatoire, the department of music. Then after the graduation, they went to, normally they went to a postgraduate course, or sometimes so I went abroad to for further study. For example, got some of my students, some of my friends, all went to the UK, and the Royal Academy of Music, or like uh, culture music, something. And then they continue performing. So this is kind of a typical path in my country. And to be a teacher, a piano teacher? Yeah, so they can be a piano teacher, and then some of them continue performing, and then some of them so became like a, a school teacher, so I mean a school music teacher, but they are very good at performing. Mm. But presumably to be a school teacher, you have specialist teacher training? Yes, um, they have the uh, teacher's licenses. Um, for example, in the, even the music university, music conservatoire, they can get a teacher's license in secondary education. Okay. They have a training system. But there is no specific training for a piano teacher? No. No. <laughs> no. That's the thing. I know that in Japan, only a couple of universities, I um, mean, the University of Music a Conservatoire, they have a specific course, uh, the piano education. Yeah, but it's really few, yeah. um, not like a widely recognized. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, very much, Yuki, for telling us a little bit all about what happens in Japan. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Sorry.